All right, welcome back to uh, Hemi Brothers. Um, this is John again. Um, today, me and Eli there <laughs> are out in the cornfield and uh, just kind of checking some things out. Um, I came out here a few days ago and was really just surprised with one of my trials and I thought I would share it with you guys. But So we're out in this field. Um, <clears throat> it's an eight acre field and I decided to do a, a corn into a diverse cover crop. Uh, so the advantage I had on this field was I was able to put in this cover crop um, last August behind corn silage. So I was able to get a lot of, uh, I had a more wider selection of plants I could put in and um, that's what it is now. It was cereal, rye, just a light rate and uh, fixation clover, crimson clover, rape and um, uh, hairy vetch. So we delayed our corn planting date out here until um, May 21st and it was about as tall as the hood of my tractor. Um, we rolled it down as we planted it and um, I left three treatments out here. One of a zero check, so zero applied nitrogen, um, 70 pounds and 150 pounds. So we are in the zero check right now and while I'm down here, if you rake this residue back, uh, that's what the, the soil looks like right now. I'm just saying I've got a lot of, a lot of activity, which is important because I was able to raise an ear like that with zero applied nitrogen which just blows my mind. I mean, they're not all that big, but um, we're in a little bit better part of the strip here. But they're, they're decent ears. I expected a disaster um, to where I wish I had done more of this. Um, I was just too scared I was gonna give up a lot of yield on a, on a trial, but it's so, all, <clears throat> We actually pulled ears the other night out of this strip. Granted, they were not the smallest ears, but an ear similar to that is act that they're 18 around, which uh, puts an ear like that somewhere between 200 and 240 bushel corn if it uh, goes ahead and fills the kernels out. But just out of the sun here, look at the color of this corn. Um, it's, those are some I pulled back the other night. They've kind of shriveled since then. But, uh, if you look at the color of the corn, it's just got a nice dark green color. It's not what you would expect for, um, no nitrogen. And, uh, all we can really figure out is we've got enough biological activity in the soil to make enough nitrogen to raise corn like this. So, so anyways, we'll step, this is the line, because I can tell my rollers didn't quite roll down between the planter, planter passes, but uh, this would be the 70, and it's a nicer ear. Um, those ears the other night when we were doing uh, yield checks, we're around 270 bushel corn, <clears throat> which is just mind blowing. And, and we all know ear checks aren't, aren't an accurate yield and they could be 40 bushels lower than, than what I'm saying, but still um, just phenomenal. I was able to raise these kind of ears with such small amount of nitrogen. The crazy thing is, is where we applied top, went ahead and top dressed another 80 pounds to make 150, um, we've actually got fewer kernels on the ears so um, it's impressive and you can't tell a lot of difference in the color there's the zero there's the 70 zero 70 
And the 150, it actually has a darker green color, but um, I don't know, it's just not throwing it into the ears. So this is a cost per bushel trial. And uh, that zero check over there, I've literally got $30 in a cover crop, $100 an acre in the seed, and uh, probably $25 in a herbicide pass. Because we didn't even do a burn down out here. We were able to roll that cover crop down, kill it off, and it held the weeds back till we, we post sprayed. But um, yeah, so what is that? That's maybe $160 an acre in inputs. Um, beats the heck out of, you know, $350, $400 in inputs and uh, not really sacrificing yield. So it might've just worked out this year with all the late rains we got, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna wind up being my most profitable corn. Should have done more of it. So this is on a field that's two and a half percent organic matter. So, um, you know, it's, it's just uh, surprising. 70 units in there and he is earworms gotten in here a little bit but I mean they're nice nice ears we'll see we'll see what harvest brings but for now where's Eli at mm -hmm. yep. all right we'll see ya bye